G'day folks, this is a uh, high pressure test using purely water. I've got a pre-filled uh, Toyo Trampath A14 small SUV tyre. Uh, it's pre-filled completely with water, absolutely 100%. All air has been bled off. I've got a line coming out through the hole in the tread that I made to bleed the air and that's connected to this pressure gauge. It peaks at 350 psi so I don't think we'll get that close but you never know. The pump is the usual short stroke uh, Anderson steam cleaner water supply pump. So yeah, got a bit of glass and other protective equipment up at the moment so let's see what happens. gauge even working. Oops, try not to step on the camera. Oh, there we go. I've lost the gauge. 50. Yeah, I think a line had a bit of air in it for the pressure gauge. Wow, it did go where the bloody hole was. That was pretty good. <laughs> 150, oh, no, 250. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that must have gone to about 250. Well, I was not expecting the entire tread assembly to split, but that was pretty good. I was actually expecting the sidewall to go. But no, that's split clean through because of where I compromised it, right about here. Mind you, I tried not to break any of the steel belts, but as you can see, there aren't many of it, of them. And once you get a progressive fracture through it, that's the end of it. Hmm. I think the next one, I'm going to drill and tap a hole in here. Oh, but then I still got to be able to bleed the air out somehow. That's a bummer. Yeah, I work out how to get all of the air out again. I don't want any air in there, but yeah, I've got to try and bleed it 100%. No, there was that's where I made the hole, and you can see that's where the fracture progressed from all the way up, right up to the bead. It's actually the bead's actually coming off. 
all the bead wire anyway, it's not very tight anymore, it's pretty stretched. Hmm. But that failure will, probably would have occurred anyway if this tyre had had a puncture repair. But upon inspection I couldn't see any obvious signs of a plug or anything like that, so I'd say this had never had a puncture until now, and that was the point of failure. So, yeah. Interesting. Where's my pressure gauge line? There he is. Worked like a charm. <laughs> There's pink dye coming out of it because that was in the uh, gauge set. It's ejected all the oily crap that was in the uh, capillary lines along with some of the dye that was in the gauges that I'm using. Impressive. The chain did its job. Not that it went very far. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's test version 1.0, complete failure of the tread assembly due to a puncture. But that was a pretty high pressure though, that was 200 pounds or so. I'll have to review the footage, I was standing further back in the garage doorway and water still shot out and hit me and hit the Jaguar engine right over the, in the back of the shed. It was pretty good. Mind you, it wasn't fast water, I mean, that would have got knocked over if it was pretty heavy duty water pressure, but it was just a bit of a spray. There's a bit out here. Um, I found a bit up here on the bench. Yeah, there's droplets down to the back of the Jag engine. I can see water on that little vent there. So the water does travel pretty far, but just like a gurney, once you get past a certain range, it's completely harmless. Um, I know there were fears from somebody of a knife-like jet of water coming out and cutting me in half, but I'm not running several thousand PSI into it. That was only 200 pounds, so yeah, gives you a nasty, nasty little shower. Almost got the camera and everything wet, but the uh, spray shield proved itself. Very impressive. And thanks for watching. Don't try this sort of stuff at home. At least not unless you're very well set up and experienced in high pressure and physics. Thanks for watching.